Hello everyone, United Gamer here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Sly Cooper. In this part, we're going to be going into our next world of Haiti. And we have a cutscene to watch right here, so I'm going right, to cut on out, guys. The third member of the Fiendish Five was the infamous voodoo priestess, Ms. Ruby. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. Sly Cooper in vicious voodoo, vicious voodoo, something like that. Okay, so welcome to the Dread Swamp Path. Now this was not too difficult. Like any other world, these are pretty much the same. You learn a new world after you beat the last boss of Mugshot. And I forgot how to play this already. No, don't touch me. Nope. But this is one mission you will have to accomplish without me. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Sure I do. My scanners have picked up verifiable paranormal activity. But that's not a problem. This swab is oozing with disgusting mold and bacteria. Suck it up, Bentley. We got work to do. All right, then. Don't forget to use the new move you learned from Mugshot's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Raccoon Railwalk? The roots and vines around here are perfect for that. All you gotta do is... Jump and hit the circle button. Especially where you see the bark has been worn away. And we're in super slick from Mickey Slime and Moss. You'll rail slide like a skater grinding pipe. I'm liking it. Okay, so yes, you gotta jump and press... Uh, circle. So I've already forgotten a much to this. So what are we going to be doing in this episode? We're probably just going to be getting a few couple levels done. Uh, I know I've been more focusing on Donkey Kong 64 lately, but we're back on to Sly and I'm hoping people enjoy that because I know I am because I was really enjoying this Let's Play. Now, oh no! <sighs> I'm already doing bad on my, wel on my welcome backness. Don't, nope, spy I don't like spiders. I don't know about anyone else, but I if they, if you had asked something, I'm not really I kind of scared of. Yep, it, it's it's spiders. Can't stand them. I don't know why, but for some reason this this is a kind of a unique story, kind of a weird story. No, don't touch me. I I will I will, I will I'm I'm ah uh, can't tell you how how much anger um, how much rage comes into me when I see spiders. If these darn wasps will not get away from me, I gotta tell my story. Okay, so back in the day when United Camera was just a little young one, young one, barely getting knew how to breathe and walk, he was playing one of his favorite classic games of Spyro the Dragon. Now, for those that remember Spyro, I don't know if some people will remember this. Oh, what am I doing? No, I'm not supposed to go in down this area. I've probably missed so many clue bottles, it's not even funny. Get off, Sly! <laughs> It's funny how you don't play a game for a while, then you forget how to play. I, I, that's just funny to me. But, as I continue my story, I don't think you... How do you get over there? Oh, I'm not supposed to be going that way. Okay, so now on back to my story. Little United Gamers, just a little young one, you know, and he's playing Spyro the Dragon. And as he's playing Spyro, he's in this little magic little world where all the, the little... Oh my god. Seriously. All the magicians are just... You know, trying to they raise mountains and stuff and all that kind of stuff. So he's playing, and he has to do this little charge-up run thing where you go down these little arrow paths. And so he's on he's on his way down, and there's these little little pinchers guys, the little I don't know pinchers. I don't know what else to say. They're the little pit. They're little silver guys in the pinchers, and you can't flame them because they have little like gray barnes that are anti-flame. So as he's playing. For some reason, that night, he has a nightmare about a tarantula, and ever since, United Gamer has been terrified of tarantulas. So, it wasn't that a nice little story. 
But yes, I don't know why, but ever since that time, I've been terrified of tarantulas. I mean, I don't really mind them unless I'm just I just worry that one day I'm gonna be just laying in bed and then I'm gonna wake up and a tarantula's crawling on my face. I would scream and you know, do run ah. Uh, yeah, I can't even explain what I would do. I'd be so petrified. <laughs> but that's a little inside secret about United Gamer. He's terrified of the spiders. Um, but so, welcome back to Sly Cooper. I, I've missed this Let's Play. I really enjoyed doing it, and I'm glad to be doing it. I'm probably going to be terrible this game. As you can already tell, I don't remember anything about it. I don't remember anything. I couldn't even remember you had to jump press a circle. No! See. Get out of there. Okay. Oh, but here's one little thing I really wanted to talk about in this episode. Uh, I just thought of it, actually. Um, but Sly 4, coming out in 2012, what do you guys think about that? If you don't know, there's an E... I was watching E3. I wasn't there, sadly. I wish I was. I'd love to go to E3. But I was there, and I was watching it, and there's a new Sly coming out, uh, Sly 4 for PlayStation 3. What are your thoughts on that? To be honest, I am so excited for that. I was, uh, I went crazy when I saw that. That made me love Sony so much. I was so, ex I'm just so excited about that game because I love, I love Sly. Uh, exactly why I decided to let's play this game because it's, it's, I mean, it's not only it's good to nostalgia. This Ruby's lair. To get in, you'll need that key on top of a dinky pedestal in the guard compound. There's a bad mojo force field protecting it, so you'll have to destroy all five of the purple candles surrounding it. No problem. Don't get cocky or you'll end up with your head shrunk to the size of a pea. You've got to get past those voodoo guards, and I'm warning you, they're mean and they work like a team. So do we, buddy. Okay, I'm tired of interruptions now. B uh, Bentley, you're really getting on my last nerve. Like I was saying, this game is not only nostalgic for me, it's just a great... I love the series. I love them all. They're really fun to play. I have so much fun playing these games, and that's why I'm really excited for a new one. I mean, I one thing I'm a little bit scared of, I don't know why, I guess you could say scared of, is... You know, have you ever noticed whenever they got a good series in their hand, they could really do something with it? But then they end up screwing it up really bad and doing something bad. And I just jumped in fire. <laughs> Don't play with fire, kids. But that's just my opinion. Like, hey, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sh shut up for this because it's just a little lock thingy. But I'm really excited for that game. I think it'd be very fun to play. Uh, I, uh, I already got a couple messages about this, probably because of Sly thing, because of me at Let's Playing Sly. If I would LP that game, I don't know. I don't like spoiling it for people, so I. Dad, I don't know. Let's play it as soon as it came out. Maybe one day, though. So this may be something to look forward to. Let's do this power up is. Rolling raccoon. Oh, you're rolling the really cool. Okay, so whenever, I'm pretty sure some of you guys might remember back around in the earlier parts when you learn a little sly roll. What this now does is it allows you to hurt people. But I'm still not fun. I still love my favorite. How do I change this? I forgot. Okay. This is my favorite one. You can't really touch me. I love running fast. It's so much fun. So now we're going on. We have gotten it. Wait, where's the key? I'm all excited. Uh, oh, wait, 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 where's the key? What do I? Oh yeah. Do I gotta like? Oh. No. Oh god, I'm trapped. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Bam. Bam. Oh <laughs> yeah. Wait, where else? Oh no. Where's the last one? There it is! Get it! You've done it! The Lojo Force Get it! Alright, so there's slide number key number one. So we are already one seventh way done with this world. Now what we need to do is we need to go unlock that gate and enter the new area that we have learned that we are entering. Where did the where, did all those people just die whenever that came whenever I did that? All those little voodoo people died. Now, as I said one of my earlier parts, this game isn't too difficult, but what I found most difficult was this World 3 boss. Oh, how I hate her. That, like, that ugly, mean, voodoo alligator lady. She's so mean. I mean, I, you have to, but what you have to do is like time it, you know, like, you have to like time everything. Right? I'm sorry, Bentley, I'm not hushing for this one. It's basically saying she's going to live up there and you got to go get it, okay? And you're gonna have to go do all these things. You gotta find seven keys, just as always. But what you have to do is you have to time. The only reason, by the way, the only reason I didn't cut up for that is because there's only 
this is a really short cutscene, but like I was saying, and what was I saying? Because I'd like to continue what I was saying. Oh, I hear that lady. What is she talking about? But really, what was I saying? No, I hate when this happens. <laughs> Dang it! I really hate when that happens. I had need three keys to unlock that. Yes, Bentley, we know we need three keys. Alright, so what we're gonna do in this part, we're gonna go ahead and start this next level as United Gamer thinks of what he was talking about. Let's think here. Oh, yes, you get to time everything, you get to time the buttons. You know, I really just don't like that. Whenever I'm thinking, like, you know, look at this movie. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. I can't even remember what I was talking about. But what I was talking about was you had to, like, show, like, throw things at you, and you got to press triangle, 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 circle, square, circle, X, X, triangle. And you got to, you know, you just get that little timing thing. It's just really annoying, in my opinion. So I don't know what everybody else, but that's just me. What am I gonna do again? Ah, oh. no! I forgot. You gotta press circle for everything. Jump, circle, jump, circle, jump, circle. The basic concepts of Sly. And let's go ahead. Oh, I'm not missing anything, am I? I hope not. Wee, wee. You know that? Like, you know what that just made me think of? Same wee. Um, Donkey Kong Country turns. Whatever that, that let's play. Oh, those were the days of the rage quits and the game, and I hated the game. And it, it, I mean, it's a good game. I love the game concept because I love Donkey Kong Country. Uh, back for the. Okay, you're good. Um, oh my gosh. You know, I'm really just out of it right now. You know, I just, I just, you know, I can't even think of. S it's for SNES, right? Okay, I'm feeling really stupid. I can't even remember one of my favorite classic games. Of Donkey Kong Country, I can't even remember if it's for the SNES or the NES. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's at, it's SNES. There's no way it's for the NES. It can't be. It's just you know those kind of moments where you know. So oh no, okay. Yeah, just, I had to come. It came to this, and some people might know this. All right, I wanted to come. Up with, uh, I know this doesn't have anything to do with slide, but you know, I know let's play. I'm talking what I want to talk about. Okay, so have you ever had those little moments where you're like. You, you think of something that you used to do or like used to s you've seen before, but you can't remember it. So I've, the past few days, I can't. I had a dream about this little this little movie I watched when I was little. It's a little rat movie. Uh, it's like a rat hero or something. I cannot remember. It's like 1990s kind of movie. It's not Ratatouille. Okay, I would remember something like that. I asked a couple of people they're like, "Is it Ratatouille?" I'm like, "No, I no, I'm not stupid." You know, you know, yeah, but it's a rat movie. I'm trying to rescue someone from a prison, and that's all that I remember of the super movie, and I can't remember it. And if anyone could help me think of this movie, there's no telling what I would do for you. Not okay. That sounds not. No, that was a wrong saying. But it's just one of those moments where you you know something, but you just can't get. It's on the tip of your tongue, but you just can't say it. I don't know if anyone else has those moments, but I have it, and it's killing me, guys. It's 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 killing me. I can't think of it. Ugh. What are you, you stupid rat? Maybe it's... <gasps> it's Sly the Raccoon! No. It's not Sly the Raccoon. Okay, so what have you guys been up to? How... how I, I know I already said this, but... Uh, I, saw, I was about to come up with Sly Cooper again. By looking at the little teaser sort of trailer... Wait, what? What could this be? Oh, I just did that same climb. Oh. What's that? Oh no! What the crap is that? Run, Sly! Run! Run for your life! But, anyways. Oh my gosh. But seriously. But, one thing I was about to point out is, I look. I remember looking at that Dimitri thing, where Dimitri comes in the teaser tra trailer. If you haven't seen that, just look up Sly Cooper, f or Sly 4, or something like that, and I'm sure you can find it really easily. Where's the gate? I have all the key- No! Oh my god. I'm dead! I, I'm dead! Run from the- What is that thing? Seriously, what is that? Run! No, we can make it! Yeah, okay, we're good. We got it. Right here's- Oh, there's a key, but- No, seriously, where is it? I, did I- Oh, I didn't pass it, did I? Where are you? <gasps> there you are! Let's find the new kind of move we are learning. Press circle to open the vault code. Or find the vault code. 
personal demons to get the answer to this one. <laughs> he had to, he, Bentley was possessed in order to learn 444. I knew there was something about in this game that had something to do with all in the same number. But there you go, we got the next thing, we're 44% through this game. Let's see what kind of special movie we learned in this level. Ah, a more modern entry. Bruce O'Coop's computer hacking technique. Yeah, like I really want to know how to hack a computer. Page, I should be able to tap the duty roster at each hideout and project guard information into your binocucom. Okay, I had no idea what that does, but let's go ahead and look through our binoc binoculars and see if we can. Let's just look through our binoculars, you know? Let's just use simple terms like that. Okay, that doesn't look like it does anything important. But there we go, let's go ahead and get our next key. Alright, this is key number two, and we're 45% to this game, and oh. And let's go ahead and finish up this game. I don't know why I said finish up this game, because we're not even half. We're about halfway through it. Eh, we're a little bit past four. Pathway. I know it only says 45%, but that's including the time trials, we, which I'm not doing. I remember asking people who wanted that. I mean, seriously, it's the same level, but you have to do it at a certain amount of speed. Who wants to see that? That, that, no, no. Okay, alright guys, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Tell me what you thought about, think about Sly Cooper, I guess you could count that as my comment question of the day in this episode. But I will see you guys next time, where we'll complete about two or three more levels in here, and then probably the next level, do maybe even the boss, or get close to the boss at least. But I'll see you guys next time.